break down the wall. Yeah. There's also something about um, them rapping. It's there's a there's a fire the behind energy, it. It's yeah. like density, you yeah. take you take that and then you know you kind of want to run with it after you hear the song. <laughs> you know you start moving to it and then you just want to do something about mm -hmm. it. But my question is. Um, if the youth understand it because it's their language and the community understands it, how do how do government leaders hear it? How do the old, how does the older generation appeal to rap? Do they even understand? Because it's kind of outside. It's a different generation. It's a different generation, mm -hmm. and it's a different mindset altogether. Mm -hmm. um, the government has been making commitment to end poverty. In fact, it signed the, the Millennium mm -hmm. Development right. Goals mm -hmm. the agreement. But halfway through 2015, the target for MDGs were not even halfway through. So we're, we're, we're pretty far behind. I was about to ask that. I mean, how, how, where are we now? I mean, in terms of looking at the state of poverty in the Philippines. Um, according to the UN, the Philippines is among those lagging behind mm -hmm. its targets. Mm -hmm. you know, and there are a lot of uh, issues attendant to it. Um, one is, of course, financing the MDGs. Mm -hmm. Second, I don't think the government has the political will to really, really end poverty. The, the, um, the fact that there is automatic appropriation of for that servicing um, that takes away the money that's supposed to be spent for social services, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the voice in the community like? Um, how, I mean, is it something that they've kind of just given up on? These are the circumstances that we have to live around. Were th and are the goals, is the goal to end poverty even realistic? Yes, I think. Um, we believe that it is realistic. In, but um, it will take a lot of time. Uh, in fact, the MDG is not even about eradicating poverty. It's mm -hmm. about halving, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. halving poverty. The target is to make um, cut it in half. Mm -hmm. yeah. To cut it in half. Mm -hmm. no? um, we, we even want to go beyond that and, mm -hmm. and, and totally eradicate a lot. A, a lot of people, from Martin Luther King to Nelson Mandela to mm -hmm. the, the philosophers, mm -hmm. believe that we can really we can really end poverty. Mm -hmm. It's but to, to to end poverty, you have to address inequality. Right. Mm -hmm. What's it like now? I mean, the last couple of weeks we've seen the, the financial crisis really affecting different parts of the world come from the U.S. I mean, what is the sentiment now all the more? Now, um, you know, the we know that the situation is there. We're behind in terms of the U.N. saying we're lagging behind. And then here comes the financial crisis. That, people are saying, hasn't even really fully hit us mm -hmm. in terms of the ripple effect. I think the, the, the economist's projection is that it will hit us next year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. But uh, funny how these um, big companies, the, the U.S., for example, immediately acted on the, um, on, on the financial crisis, mm -hmm. talking of bailouts right. and, and all that. Uh, and again, we, we are talking of big companies. We are talking of international corporations mm -hmm. here. No. We're not talking of millions of people. We're not talking of, of 10,000 Filipinos dying every day because mm -hmm. of poverty or mm -hmm. something. Um, th there's... there's and, and that's what I, th I think that's what we call inequality. Mm -hmm. the, um, the world powers, U.S. specifically, are more interested in, in bailing out big businesses, mm -hmm. thinking that um, the more prosperous big business are, the better for a world economy. Of mm -hmm. course, um, the, the financial collapse proved them wrong. Mm -hmm. How are you cushioning the fall? How are you planning to cushion the fall, GCAP, um, other so civil societies, and um, uh, you know, to still, to still put forth the importance and the priority that ending poverty should still be out there, regardless of what happens, you know, maybe in people's, in, uh, in the bank books. If you have a couple, uh, a couple dollars or pesos to spare, please do so, or at least, you know, volunteer your time and your efforts to ending, ending yes. poverty. How are um, you cushioning the fall? The, the, the rap contest actually is a part of a bigger campaign. Internationally, mm -hmm. it's called In My Name. Mm -hmm. In the Philippines, we call it the 50-50 campaign. Mm -hmm. Actually, we launch it ahead of the In My Name campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, here, we, want, we are soliciting personal commitments from mm -hmm. people on how to help eradicate or um, end poverty. Mm -hmm. So uh, the commitments range from just energy conservation and, mm -hmm. and shutting down your computer and you know, to the more militant forms like write, writing your congressman or, or your local leaders to mm -hmm. effect our projects for the poor. We projects for the poor. We believe that if we um, make our own commitments, personal commitments to end poverty, then we have all the more reason to exact that same responsibility mm -hmm. from government. Mm -hmm. All right, how important is it to have actual people on the streets to support you, to have the numbers? I mean, understand there's some sort of world record that they're going to be attempting to, to Yes, to um, the, the interesting thing is that um, wala naman talaga 
call to go out in the streets mm -hmm. and and and, 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 right. and fight against poverty. The the day is um the day will be spent uh, on, with different groups standing up and make taking the pledge and just just uh, expressing the the commitment mm -hmm. to participate in the global day of action. In fact, before I came in, the students of uh, Lazal Zobel were gathered in the football stadium. Uh, to do their pledge. Right now, there is a sign-up center in Ramon Magsaysay, Cubao. Mm -hmm. There is a street action in Department of Agriculture, mm -hmm. initiated by GCAP and the uh, Kilosan ng Manging Isda. Ganun na. Um, I, I, sa, sa UN design nga, even a family of five or six can just stand up and express their, their, mm -hmm. their commitment for as long as you you report it and, and, and you register. Right. And you say the pledge. And, and, and what is the pledge like? I know we don't have the pledge here today, but um, what is it like? I mean, how... How does it strike uh, an individual when they actually say these words? I mean, is, do you feel the substance of that pledge is enough to really inspire that individual to really, you know, stand up for it? Um, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm torn ab about the pledge. I mean, mm -hmm. given given uh, Philippine reality that mm -hmm. nobody respects the word. I mean, mm -hmm. you hear somebody saying, I'm right. not running again, and then yeah. a few <laughs> months later, mm -hmm. she runs. You hear somebody saying, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and, you know. <laughs> So we don't really have that respect for it. I think mm -hmm. the, the pledge is more um, symbolic, right. mm -hmm. and it's, it's a very northern uh, mm -hmm. kind of thing. But it's symbolic that you take the pledge that I will fight poverty and I will do my, my, the, the, um, the little that I can to contribute to the, to the greater cause. Mm -hmm. uh, Going back to, I um, uh, just saw that the, the greater cause will be out on mainstream media. Um, will the songs be out that they're, that the rap artists crazy, crazy mix and crazy chat, um, as well as the other finalists, um, their collection of songs, it's going to be out for mainstream media um, too. We, we, we want that to be the project continuity of the rap, con of the rap competition. Because mm -hmm. no, you, have, you have these songs and mm -hmm. then a few people will, will hear it. Right. So mm -hmm. um, after the competition, we want to produce an album mm -hmm. with the songs and, and, and a few others. I don't know, if we have enough money, I think it should be out by, by December for mm -hmm. in time for the 60th anniversary of human rights. Mm -hmm. All right. Going in the next year. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck. Good luck with Thank good you. Luck with um, them. Invite them once again for your Yes, please tonight. come. Uh, Liwas ang Bonifacio. The concert starts 5 o'clock. But the rap competition starts at 7. It's called, the entire thing is called Palagna, mm -hmm. an anti-VAT concert. See you in Liwasang Bonifacio, watch these kids, six of them. We'll have Lourdes Vera, Decoy, and uh, Shilbert of Tribo as judges. Tapos, i-rap mo na pala yung ano. <laughs> it's a, and it's a VAT-free concert, so it's you go, you don't pay a single peso of VAT. You don't pay a single peso. <laughs> you should rap. Maybe except for a couple rap of expenses along the way getting there. Well, Joel Saracho of uh, GCAP, thank you so much for joining thank us this morning. Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank Best you. of luck. Thank you. Peace out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we like to sneak one in there. All right. Join us for another in action segment on Monday. We'll be talking about the measures being done to end violence against children. Email us at mornings.anc at gmail.com or text us at 0926 667 4541 or 0927 4144 777. Up ahead, we'll talk to members of the I Can Serve Foundation. Mikey also joins us after the break for another stock market update. Keep it here, you're watching Mornings at ANC.